In this video, we're going to take a look at how you can add text and images to your Google site and create a layout. So the first thing we need to do is add a text box, which you can do using the text box option over here under the insert menu, or alternatively, just double click somewhere on the page. We get this nice little menu up here and select the text option. Once you do that, a new text box appears, which you can type directly into. Welcome to our site. If I could spell site. And now from here, you can change this into a title or a heading, a subheading, and so on. Let's set this back to normal text. And you notice along here, we can also format the text using the familiar formatting options, which you'd normally see in something like Google Docs. And just like Docs, you can also resize this text box. So let's make it a little bit smaller. And if I click it over here and hold my mouse down, I can move it around on the page. And you'll notice as I move it around, it will snap to the grid. So this is sites trying to help me to create a nice organized layout. OK, now we've got some text on our page. Let's add an image. So you can either, again, just double click and select images from here. Alternatively, select images using uh, this option under the insert menu. And from here, you can either upload an image from your computer or select an image. So if you select uh, select an image, you can search uh, Google for an image or just get one from your Google Drive. So I'm going to select this nice image of a puppy and press select. So when we insert an image, uh, we can, just like the text box, we can move us around the page or we can resize this. So if I hold down the shift key and select the corner dot, I can resize this and maintain the aspect ratio. Or if I don't hold down the shift key, I can actually uh, resize it this way and it's cropping the image. So if I double click into here, you can see which parts of the image have been cropped so I can reposition it using my mouse just to make it fit a bit better. One of the other things we can do is group an image with some text. So if I drag it over to here, and you notice it's highlighted this line in blue, which means the image will now snap to the text and Google Sites has grouped it together for us. So what this means now is I can move this text and image around together. Another way of creating a layout in Google Sites is to use the ready-made layout options in Sites over here on the right-hand side. So you've got six nice options to choose from. So let's try clicking on one of these. And you can see it's added some placeholders for our text and images. So if I click on the plus icon on the image here, I can either upload an image or select one from my drive. So let's select this one, press select, and enter some text. And as you can see, you can quickly build up a page using the ready-made layouts on sites. Now, once you have some more content on your site, you'll notice that Google Sites divides each row up into its own section. So if you notice over here, we've got a, a new menu which has appeared as we hover over this section. This allows us to firstly move it around. So if I wanted to, I can move this top section down to here or move it back up again. Uh, I can also change the section color. So if I wanted to, I could give this a nice light gray color. And on this one, if I wanted to, I could upload an image as a background for this section. You can also use this menu to duplicate a section and delete a section. Well, that's it for this video. In the next video, we're going to take a look at pages and navigation in Google Sites.